Oh, I'm hooked up on a little fish. Yeah, nice. All right, guys. What's up? <laughs> I got a hook in my mouth. Sorry. All right, start of the day fishing at the first spot. We're actually waiting to get some live shrimp this morning, but we are on our flats boat today. And I know a lot of you guys say, you know, we're offshore at heart, but you know, we only can get offshore when we can on our smaller size center console. Today is a little rough for that. So we decided to hit inshore fishing. And Brian just caught the first fish on the boat. Look at that locust guys. I just, I just got broke off by everything and I'm retying and Brian just slayed. Circle look right out, look at that. Good job. Awesome. Good job. Awesome. Good job, there he goes. He was fine, I just caught him two seconds He's ago. He's floating, He's swimming back. He's having a nice time. He's, He's just totally having a nice, fine. going for a nice float. <laughs> not a float to swim. He's on surface. He's not swimming on the surface. But uh, here, give me the sizzle. All right, guys. So yeah, we're in shore today. Darcy's tooth is finally is starting to heal up. So we don't want to go too crazy offshore. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And we haven't been inshore in forever, and we love inshore fishing too. Just as, not as much, but as Darcy was saying, we're pretty good. So we we try a whole lot of different things. We're already on the snook. Yeah. So we'll follow along. We're going to catch all kinds of great fish today. All right, let's stop talking and catch them, though. Let's go. <laughs> it is a full moon, though, so I'm a little nervous. Yeah, we well, yeah, unfortunately had to go fishing on the full moon. All right, thread fin, circle hook to match the size of the bait, of course. And right now, I am rigging these guys right through the peck fin, right through that upper hole, go through either side. Now, that thread fin is going to swim straight down to where the predators, a.k.a. the snook, are sitting. hooked up right away and wrapped up again. There he is. Nice size little snooks today. All right, I'm hooked up now. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. That is a bummer. When you lose your coffee, and I've been trying to get it cold all morning because I can't have coffee, hot coffee, with these wisdom teeth pulled. This fish is fine. I'm just really upset. I gotta go get coffee ASAP. Got him? No. All right, I got him. I got him. Nice. Beautiful. Another, another one that looks exactly like Brian's. A twin. All right, let's pop him right off. Let him go. Nice fish. A little skinny, right? It's a little beat up, that guy. Me? Poor little guy. Look yeah. how skinny he is. He's getting made it upon. Dude, this guy needs some food. I feel bad. All right, let's let him go. Don't want to mess with you too much more. Bye, buddy. Ugh! Now, <laughs> language, please. Darcy spilled the coffee because she doesn't put Dude, a coffee I was cup in a safe it. spot. You had it on top Brian, of the cooler. Brian, I was cooler. freaking sipping it. On and you, of course, of have to step like this and hit it. Like, I was in the middle of sipping it. Like, I need coffee. Like, I'm, there's a problem now. So. It's a pro you shouldn't, well, leave your coffee in a better spot. I need coffee. You lift your coffee like an open flats boat. So when I kicked it, It was not open. It was totally it closed. It was totally, yes, the top, top the lid was closed. was closed. It was all closed. I was sipping it. I was standing up there dr casting and you sipping. You left the coffee, where, you know, right on top of a cooler. All right, well, we got, I got to get coffee, so I got a problem. Let's figure that out next. I'm gonna look it up right now, see where I can get some coffee. All right, I gotta clean this boat anyways, so I'm gonna dump the bucket. All right, so back, back to that snook. I said it was getting made in the pond. The summer's coming, and the snook is gonna be in the inlets. So we figured we'd try the spot real quick so there might be some snook in the inlet already. It's a little early. They spawn in the inlets during the summer when the weather gets warmer. So uh, that was a smaller, probably a male snook. So that's the reason we're, I'm saying he was getting made of the pond. And so it's time to start hitting the inlets, guys. That's that story. Darcy's very mad. Oh. Stay on. Got something on. I didn't realize I had even a fish on. 
What do we got? Show yourself. Puppy nice cat. snook. Nice snook. Woo! Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Come here, buddy. You gotta find a little bigger eyes. All right. Open my bail. Snook number two for me. There he is. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. We've moved on to the next spot. And sure enough, there are fish here too as well. Let me get the circle hook right out. There's a bunch of gunk in the water today as well, so it's getting caught up on the line, so it's getting hard to fish with that stuff in the water. But we are still catching fish on beautiful live baits. This was a thread fin that fish ate. So lots of smaller snook around, really nice to see because it just shows you the population's healthy and this guy's real dark from the river water. Let's let him go. Grabbing my thumb, he wants to swim away with it. There he goes. All right, let's get some more. All right, so let's try this spot for a little bit more, but uh, the manager from the Snook Nook gave us a personal call and said they got shrimp in. That's a great, excellent service. So we're gonna go over there and get some live shrimp real quick. Yeah. Whoa, we're gonna go. Whoa, you tight. I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight. You feel me? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. You definitely show it. All right, guys, you started. Woo! All right, guys, just started doing pylons. I'm not sure what it is. It might be a jack. It's a little gag grouper. Whoa. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, a, it's a jewfish. Goliath, I mean. Yeah, Goliath. Nice. Let me show you. That's our first Goliath, I'm sure. Yeah, it's cutie pie. Cool. They're so pretty when they're young. All right, guys, this is a Goliath, protected Goliath grouper. Cook is right in the corner of his mouth. You gotta get, you're allowed to take them out of the water if they're small and you're trying to get the hook out, which I'm doing. If they're big, you're not. I'm gonna get them right back in. He's gorgeous. Right back in, nice. You're actually not even allowed to stop that much to take a picture. You shouldn't, the release should not be relayed at all, okay? So that was actually like a half a second release. So don't call that WC, but just as an educational example. What do we got? What do we got? Bigger snapper. <laughs> that is a juvenile mutton snapper. Nice. Right, sure. They're so pretty when they're young. I'm going to try not to handle this guy very much. Pop him off on a hook remover. Yeah, these hook removers are pretty awesome. Like 10 bucks, I think, on Amazon or something like that. You can check it out in my Amazon store. Oops. But anyways, you slide it down on the fish and then you kind of have them over the side and you flip them off. I'll show you on the next fish. But he flipped into the boat, wrong way. <laughs> Another species though. Got a little move. Yeah. Oh, I got a sheep's head. He didn't realize he was hooked. He was like swimming up with me. Another species. He might keep, he's going right back over there. Hey, we got dinner. <laughs> That's a nice one actually. That's a solid one for around here. All right, so we're just battling tough conditions out here, but that's why they call it fishing and not catching. I hate that's the worst term. But we are <laughs> weeding through them. Look at him. Look at the bite. Yeah. What just happened? I don't know. On the other side too, it looks like somebody's trying to get him with a spear. Oh yeah, maybe. And missed. Wow. Well, he's mine now. It actually looks fresh. It's bleeding. Something just ate him down there. I'm gonna put another bait out. See what happens. Nice. That literally just happened. You think? He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Oh. Blood's coming off of it. So guys, came to a new spot. It hooked up real quick. It might be a jack. I'm not sure yet. It was so fast, it has to be a jack. Is that a jack sizzle? Yeah. <laughs> Another species. All right. All right, guys, the old Jack Carval. But uh, you can see all these mangroves behind me. And uh, we just didn't just start randomly fishing. There's like a corner here and we drove up and down the mangroves to see where birds are diving and where mangroves, not mangroves, where mutton, mullet, 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 mine mangroves, where mullet was jumping and, uh, and stopped there. You know, there were other spots we saw, but nothing was jumping, so we didn't stop there again. And my bait was only out for literally one, just threw it out there, it was out for two seconds, and my bobber was going lower, I grabbed the rod and I had this jack on in like three seconds. It ate the live bait? It ate the live bait, I pilchered in like a minute. So uh, we're going to set up, put all different types of baits out, chunks and shrimp and some pilchards, and see if we can catch something a little bit better. Flying Jack. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. A little shallow here. Ooh, there's camera. 
you got? Another jack. Hey, you got a fish. Yeah, I'm a jack king today. Jack on the pilings. Only you can do that. Go back to the pylons. Not giving up. Here you go, Sizzle. No. Nope. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> he almost just slapped the side of my face that's swollen. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> Fish. Filming? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but. Ryan's hooked up. Oh, baby. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Catch him. Wait, how do you eat that? I was just sitting. Just sitting. Okay, he's getting followed by one. All right. All right. You don't want to get him off that piling. Get him away from there. Do not drift back. I don't have enough dra drag. Do not drift Working. back. I am drifting back. Do not. You're going to get him wrapped. Stop the anchor. Get him away. He's away now. Good job, babe. Good. Oh, yeah, another nice one following him. Yep. I see him, I see him. We're going to catch him. Good job, Brian. Get him away from that piling. You're drifting right into it. I don't have enough drag on him. I know, you put I'm the drag I'm not drifting off. anymore. Okay, good job. Nice fish. Well, that's a little guy following him. Yep. All right, come follow your fish. Get him up. Off the, off the boat. Down, good job, good job. Fish not done. Watch the engine. These fish fight, man. Oh, Guys, we've been doing this all day looking for this fish. In the net, buddy. Oh! oh come on. I don't have enough drag. I don't have enough drag. Baby, put that drag on. We do not want to lose this fish right now. I'm not putting a drag on. Lift him up. All right, come on. Oh, my God, God, oh, baby. Like you had that. No, we got to put his head in it. He's coming, he's coming. Oh. Good job. Woo, Holy he's a keeper. Cow. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Oh, yeah, he's all day keeper. Oh, my Lord. Good job. <laughs> Get your fish. He's got all a right. six, seven pound triple tail right yeah. here. Just like that, no big deal. Nice. I was just playing the same hook he's using on. And uh, Yeah, as we works. always say, guys, you know, you want to use different uh, hooks. I don't think it matters in this particular case. No. I can pick him up, Sizzle. Hold on one sec. Hold on one second. I got water all over the lens. All right. All right, so they always tell you, guys, I mean, I'm ow. I don't think it mattered. I didn't get. I don't think it mattered that time, but we were using different color hooks. Mm -hmm. We'll drop them over the side. Look at the. Look at that side. Oh yeah, he's got a big scrape on him. Holy cow! We we'll have to show them in the sunlight. They can't see it that way. There you go, Turn guys. Around. Yeah, there you got go. Got three snook right off the bat. Then uh, some sheep's trying some different things, and uh, that's one of our targets today. So not bad. Three snook, sheep's, triple tail. Maybe we'll get something else in the boat too. Maybe Darcy will catch up. I need to catch up. <laughs> Boom. All right, for an update, Darcy still so has not caught a triple tail. Nope. Have not caught up. <laughs> I am a terrible fisherman today. Fish guys don't want to reward me even after oral surgery. Oh, now you're pulling the oral surgery card. I'm right now, I'm chumming the waters, by the way. Taking the little pieces of shrimp that are not usable on my jig, and I'm just chumming the waters wherever there's structure, crab traps, and a piling, of course, to see what else is there. That didn't, I didn't have to do that when I caught my fish. Stop. <laughs> I'm trying. Fish guys don't like me, I don't know what else to say. I'd also like to bring up, I have a brand new pet peeve. What? Listen, if Darcy and I are fishing next to the channel, I know it. We're fishing next to the oh. channel. I'm well aware of the channel there. If I'm fishing these markers, or if I'm a Guggen and I'm in the channel fishing, I personally don't care if I'm a Guggen in the channel fishing. You can drive by as fast as you want. If you slow down your 40 foot sporty, all you're doing is making, <laughs> all you're doing is making waves a thousand times bigger to go over the back of my flat boat. Yes. Just keep going, bro. It's all good. So, a word to the sporties. Am I right? Lots of big sporties up here today, cruising yeah. by. A lot of big sporties. All right. I think they might be slowing down just to see my girlfriend, but just keep going, bro. You're just making waves three times bigger. <laughs> it's crazy. When you're on plane, you make less waves for you sporty drivers. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that? I'm not sure if you did. <laughs> We're not sporty drivers. I'm not drivers. a bass guy. I, 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 it's okay. You get some splashes, it's all good. They don't get to see their None wakes the like we do. Mad at me. All right, let's go. That's they fish. don't get to see their wake like we do. Show them how, did you show them how you put the shrimp on? No. All right, we'll do that next. Next one. All right, hit it. Go, Sizzle. Let's see something good. Oh. Catch another eight-inch eight mangrove. 
this is how I do the shrimp. Brian actually caught his triple tail on a whole shrimp and all he did was just took this simple jig and he actually ran it through the uh, tail portion, right? This is how you did it, yeah. the bottom. Yeah. That way when you give it a couple twitches backwards, yeah. you know, sh shrimp swim backwards. See how he's flipping? Shrimp swim backwards, so like a lobster. So uh, when you give him a little jerk jerk, he goes backwards. Yep, I don't know. and also he has action in the water because of course you did not take his tail off so he can kick and do whatever shrimp do down there. Um, but for me, I've been I've been pinching off the tail. He's a little on the smaller side, so I'm just gonna pinch a little bit of the tail off. Can't use that, that's chum now. And then I take that jig and just go right through that meat. And I also feel like taking that tail off really just helps get the shrimp scent in the water and the, you know, the fish are trying to find where the shrimp's at and then just shove that jig up into the meat. And then I just fish on the bottom just like that. Nice. And usually those triple tail are not um, shy, they'll just inhale your whole shrimp. They don't care. Yeah, if you get your bait in front of a triple tail, they're not the brightest bulbs on the tree, so they'll just eat it. And uh, what are you using, 20 pound liter, honey? Yeah. What, were you, what were you using? I use 20 pound too. I think they are a little liter shy sometimes, so. Uh, yeah. And know. this is the time of year that you find triple tail offshore too. Offshore on the weed lines. We don't, weed lines. You, you could. We do, we find lots of littles. But yeah, we'll there ones. are big ones out there this time of the year. So go after triple tail inshore and offshore. Yeah, so 20 pound. I, I caught mine on a new Azores 4000, which they sent us. We're really enjoying those reels, I gotta tell you guys. I know we talked about them before. And, uh, and we're gonna weigh that fish at the end. Yes. Guess the weight. Guess the weight. You, no, no. I don't know what that is. It looks like a catfish. What the heck? It's going too fast for a catfish. What? It's a bonita. No way. <laughs> no, it's a blue runner, I think. Another species. You're killing it. I am just, uh, can't find the dinner fish today, but that's okay. That's, that's what happened. That's a dinner fish. There's a, a delicious blue runner for you. Make a whole video out of that. <laughs> that's a, yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's some shade. <laughs> that's a uh, kingfish bait right there. Nice. We did do a pokeball with that, and it was very good. I it gotta was say, good. it was good. There he is. Another species for me. <sighs> Crazy. I just can't find the triple tail, but that's okay. I'll catch him offshore here real soon. Second, the wind lays down. You're gonna see us up deep sea fishing. Only too. thing we have, a, only triple tails we look up for shore. I'm not being negative. for shorts. We have catch way more triple tails. Oh uh, no, we did catch a key, like just when it was 16, now they gotta be 18 total length. And they used to be 16, we caught two one day. That was like <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> All right guys, another great, great day in the water. I'm pretty, Darcy's getting that fish. We're gonna weigh it like we said. Um, but we get back to the ramp and guys, don't do this. I don't, I got some B-roll here. A huge Google move. I don't want to see you guys all parked in the middle of the ramp. There's a there's a loading station directly in front of them. They're parked in the middle of a double ramp. Yeah. On the ramp, on the bridge, on the top of the ramp. It's just ridiculous. It was a mess. So anyway, <laughs> big mess. No big deal. But I'm just trying to show you guys. I mean, that's just stuff's crazy. Especially uh, our, if it was packed here, it'd be a different story. Yeah, I'd be crazy. I mean, it was busy enough. You know, he, he was taking both ramps. And then the ramp we used, that was also both of us were using it, actually. Yeah. You know, so it was full. Yeah. But whatever. No big deal. Exactly. No big deal. We live and right. we learn. We're going to get a weight on that triple tail he caught. And Let's he did save the day with that beautiful fish. Did not end up catching up to him, but you know what? He was fishing, and, it, and the more people fishing, the better, because you just never know what you're going to get. You know, All right. And, and men are, you know, some men are going to fish the girls a lot of times. All right, so know? go ahead and drop your comments down below on what you think the weight of this beautiful triple tail is. And you can see clearly now, he's dead. Oh, they look get, at these scars. When he's dead, the uh, the colors obviously are not as pretty, but you can really see those scars in the sunlight right here. Never seen anything like it. It looks a lot like a propeller. Yeah, I'm sorry. it does. It, it looks like a prop, honestly, like a prop hit him. But go ahead and comment down below what you guys might think that is, but this is old, like this is healed over and um, it's not bleeding or anything, but I could just tell that this fish got whacked. Yeah. This fish is healthy for the most part, well, nice and healthy. How much you weigh? All right, and tell us, of course, down in the comments below, don't cheat what you think the weight of this beautiful fish is. And the weight is going to hold be- Hold on, hold on. Should we make it a pinned comment down below? What? How much the fish weighs? A pinned comment? A pinned comment in the comment section. Oh, us? Yeah. We're not even gonna tell them. Okay. <laughs> All right, the weight is 
in the pinned comment. <laughs> it's a pinned com first comment in the description. Go check it out. Is gonna and be how drop us some love too if you want to. Throw us a hi or a bye or whatever in the comments. Yeah, and while, and while you're down here, make sure, don't forget about, oh, it's on our back all day. Yes. You, you can register for that uh, hair club uh, giveaway for a trip. All the information is going to be in there. I'll put the link down there below. Yep. And don't forget about Dar Sizzle's beautiful necklaces and jewelry. Yes. Link exactly. in the description below. That way you're fishing hook bracelets all right. at all times. Is that it, Sizzle? All right, guys, that's it. I know you want to stop staring at this fish. I don't want to stop staring at it because I'm excited to eat them. I want to stare at you. But we'll see if uh, I'm allowed to eat them yet because my teeth are still pretty sore. Oh. But um, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us to on today's beautiful adventure. Much better on the water than in any office. I think any we did great for, for a full moon. You know, we could we did really You guys good. saw in the beginning, we caught all the snook in the world. We got so, a lot you know, of fish we today. can't catch snook every day for you guys. We got to mix it up. Yeah. And we did great. Yeah. Anyway. I want to get back on a triple tail hunt again, maybe when we can catch more than one, but we'll see. We're still blessed no matter what we do. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed. And until our next, next one. Next adventure. Next adventure. <laughs> epic <laughs> adventure. Follow your dreams. dreams. And keep on catching. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That's crazy. I can't believe he weighs. Uh -huh. Almost caught me. <laughs>